Hi guys. It has been a while. Um, I'm about to go into work, but I want to read you something really quickly. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were created through Him, and apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify about the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was created through him, and yet the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, he gave them the right to be children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of natural descent or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. I want to talk really quickly about offense because I'm seeing this a lot in my own life right now. And I just know, like I know from personal experience again and again, this is one of the greatest tactics of the enemy is when he gets you to be offended about everything, especially truth, right? <laughs> Jesus said himself in Matthew, blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Um, in Matthew 21, 42, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Jesus is the word of God. He is the truth and everything he speaks is truth. We can trust what Jesus says, um, but he is speaks truth that can sometimes feel painful because it's not always comfortable for something to be revealed within us that we are not ready to let go of. But Jesus is the light of men and he loves us. And the only reason why he reveals things to us and speaks truth again and again is for our betterment, our complete and total renewing, um, literally like everything that we could ever want or need when it comes to just the truest fulfillment of the soul is within Jesus. So be careful to not be easily offended by things and pray for the ones that you love in your life that are easily offended by truth because there are so many things that the enemy can plant within us to use as excuses for truth to bounce off of them because it's offensive to us. It hurts our feelings. Um, it's too sensitive. It's too tender. Okay, but do you trust God that he's going to heal that wound once he reveals it, once he cleans it out? Do not let your ego and demonic forces hide as a fence to keep you away from what God is trying to speak to you.